Yo, what's going on everybody? More Digimon Survive. But in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys in relation to the time differences between the Digi world versus the real world in this game. Now, as you are playing through the game, you will come across a number of sections and situations where the characters or the game will tell you as far as how much time has been elapsed such and such and i know that this question was going to come up when it came to um people asking what is the difference how long have we been in the digi world versus the real world even the character once you go back into the digi world from from the digi world back to the real world you start talking to the people and they're like oh we only been in digi world for this length of time but it's like oh in the real world you only been gone for a few hours, two to four hours, but we've been technically in the digi world for 10 days. How do you know this? Well, you actually do get back to the real world as your main character, but everybody else is still left in the digi world. So you have to find out as to, oh, how to go back, rescue everybody, bring them back home, all of that stuff. So it's like, man, how long? And it pertains to the story when it comes to the digi world versus the real world and time length. Because another character in the game gives us more insight. As you know, the professor's name is actually Haru. But he aged. And you wonder as far as how did he age? Well, in the beginning, if you remember, he and his uh, partner, which he evolved into Garuamon, but Garuamon and his sister which is Miyuki, her partner is Renamon. Now, they were battling the Digimon such and such. Sister sacrificed herself, sends the brother to the real world, and of course, he's living out his life in the real world, all that stuff. But, remember, before we get to that point, we were in the apartment and we saw pictures of them. So it's like, hold on. They've been had pictures, such and such, and it comes to find out 50 years, right? So the Digi World has been in existence for much longer than the time that we actually been introduced and thrown into the Digi World. So you have to factor in 50 years. So you're talking about 50 years prior to us coming, such and such, right? Here's more clarification for you when it comes to the time differences. When we came back to the real world with Miyuki... There was a situation, there was a time in which we were asked as far as what year was it? Miyuki asked us this question. We said it's 2020. She gasped. It's been that long since she were in the Digi world. And it's also been that long since her connection with her brother was like really severed. They were separated for so long. So you're talking about, okay, so this part, that part is easy, is easy. 20, 20, 50 years. So it's like, damn, shit, it, it's really been that long. So 2020, 1950, it's not going to work like that. So you might as well say since 1970-ish. I'm going to go that route, 1970-ish. Since the Digi World came about and all that stuff. I'm talking about in relation to the Digi World. Now, stay with me on this. Now, when it comes to the Digi World, we know, as far as with our characters, it's been 10 days. But in the real world, it's only 2 to 4 hours. So, I, I did the numbers and I did some crunching. So, if we were in the Digi World for at least a year, that would be... Three days in the real world, which is 75 hours. So you're talking about 50 years in the Digi world. I'm talking about from Miyuki's side of things, right? 50 years in the Digi world. That is technically six days. But to be more accurate, is 6.25. So let's just say six and a quarter. But for the sake of this 
just say six just say six days because the 50 years equal to 150 hours so you want to talk about a huge time difference between the digi world versus the real world now the advantages from the digi world side of things is that we notice that when you go into the digi world time is faster but you do not age period that is why the professor when he saw his young self and he saw miyuki it's like oh crap and when we get to find out that the professor is actually haru but it's like damn he actually aged how did this happen he been in the real world most of the time so of course he's gonna age in the real world his young self will not will never age so you could take the you could really take advantage of the digi world as far as with the time you could go in there as your young self and never ever age you will always be young <laughs> And all that stuff. But once you get back to the real world, it's like, damn, only this amount of time has elapsed and all that. So you can you can kind of cheat the aging process in relation to yourself as like, damn, I've been in the digi world this long, but in the real world is this time. But the disadvantage is that this so much stuff has changed in the real world that you're kind of out of place. Because when Miyuki came back to the real world, she was amazed as far as with oh television it's in color i remember it was in black and white so you could really see in full display the time differences between digi world and the real world and <laughs> it's kind of surprising i mean i know had i know that people had questions in regards to the time differences in the game, they were confused between the characters and whatnot. But once you play the game once and you beat it and you go on your second playthrough and you kind of put the pieces together much more, if you weren't paying attention, you will see a lot of things more clearly as far as like, oh, the digi world, the history, the time, all of that stuff. So just say for the sake of argument when it comes to this game, 1970s ish around in the 70s in real time you could say oh the digi world came to be they were there for a period of time they came back then the professor trying to act all surprised when come to find out he knew about this all along he just didn't want to uh share the information with everybody all right when it came to oh man i was here I left my sister. Yeah, I went back to the real world. But I was trying to figure out how to how to get back. You know, all of this other stuff. So I just wanted to share that with you guys as far as with the time differences between the digi world versus the real world. Because I was getting a lot of um, questions and comments in regards to the time differences between the digi world and the real world. And I was able to do a whole bunch of crunching numbers in relation to that because it's it's such a huge gap between the digi world and the real world in particular in relation to time because there's not much difference digi world the time is faster in the real world it's only a number of hours you have to be in the digi world for extremely long period of time in order to feel some kind of difference but when you get back to the real world there's not going to be much difference unless you're going to be in there for like decades, 20, 30, 40 years, or in this case, 50 years. So I hope you guys enjoyed that vid enjoyed this video. If you have any questions in regards to the time differences between the two, leave it in the comment section, like subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll check you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.